the variety of mushrooms that we grow, the name is brown agaricus of the strain, but it's actually marketed as a portobello, which is a four inch mushroom, down to a portobellini, and then down to a cremini, which is the size of, say, the white agaricus. The reason we chose this on our farm, we are a small farm. We only grow about four million pounds a year. The brown agaricus is a bit of a niche market for us. There's seven main varieties that we grow in Ontario. Um, the agaricus mushrooms are grown on beds like this. What the mushrooms are growing in is actually a straw-based substrate. So we have 22 centimeters of pasteurized straw with the mycelium already in it. And then we have six centimeters of peat moss, which is called the casing that the mushrooms grow through and then that's where the fruit body is expressed. Mushroom farming is from the 50s has changed incredibly. We've gotten more efficient on making our substrates, which where the mushrooms are growing on. We've gotten more efficient with the technology of our buildings. It takes roughly three hours to fill the beds. This is uh, 588 square meters of groin area and we can fill it with the compost and the casing in three hours. The building is our food safety. We keep it tight, we control our vectors. Now we've gone to aluminum beds, very easy to clean, very easy to sanitize, and very efficient. Implementing robotic harvesting on our farm is the next major revolution or innovation. Switching to robotics is going to actually be able to allow us to pick 24 hours a day, seven days a week and that'll actually enhance growth by about 20% from the same substrate, so that means economics improve and we get all of our mushrooms harvested off of our, off of our rooms. Mushrooms can be used for a lot other than just food, as far as from packaging to uh, building materials, clothing, that's coming in the future. The brown agaricus is good for vitamin D powder, to being able to use lion's mane for cognitive regeneration. A lot of uh, health benefits from these nutraceutical products that we're getting out of mushrooms.